today I would like to show you how small devices have a big impact in our actuators regarding energy. My name is Andreas Wunderlin. I'm head of division product management for valves and actuators. Today we talk about the letter E, energy. For actuators, we talk about lowest power consumption. What is our biggest resource on energy? What do you think? Is it nuclear? Is it coal? Hydrogen? Or maybe wind or solar? What could be our biggest resource on energy? It's actually efficiency. Energy efficiency will be our biggest resource over the next coming years and decades. So we need more from less. If we take a look on the worldwide energy consumption, we use about 31% in the industry, about 28% in transport, and 41% in buildings. If we take a look at those 41%, 73% of that is used just for our comfort. Blimo has started with a new generation in 2005. If Balimo would not have started with that new generation and not have invested in new technologies, which makes the product more efficient, what would you think how much energy we would have used more in the time in between? It's actually quite a lot. If we take a closer look, it's about the energy which one solar panel on the size of about 14 soccer fields or 28 football fields is producing in one year time. This is what we have saved over the last 10 years just by bringing new innovations into the products. I give you an example. One example is the transmission inhibition, and the other example is the advanced butterfly valve solution. So on the transmission inhibition, the idea is that the actuator stays in position when it is not powered. Think of a three-point controlled actuator. You move it into the um, middle position, you take off the power, and now you want that the actuator stays in, in place even if there is load against the damper plate. Now there's two options how you can do that. One is you have a spring, a spring that is continuously sitting on top of one gear and is adding a certain friction. So it acts basically like a parking brake on your car. Now the question is, who is driving around with a parking brake on? Probably no one. So still we do it, or we used to do it in, in actuators. Advantage, it is quite easy to do, but it has a negative cumulative energy all the time as we have friction on the gear. Now Balima took a look at that and said, hey, there must be a better way to do that. And they came out with a small devices which they place on top of the electric motor. It is a patented Ditton Torque iron sheet that sits on top. The advantage here is it blocks the motor only when it is in static condition. That means if it runs, it runs free, like this. And as soon as it's in static condition, it adds a certain, it, it blocks the actuator. So the big advantage is we have no cumulative energy while the actuator is moving. It is quite cost effective. We have very low tolerance and it blocks the gear only in static condition. With that also, we have no friction. No friction means also 
no wear off, so extended lifetime. Another example is the low torque advanced butterfly valve solution. This was our, Earth, our first product which we brought in the, into the market, which was developed not just the actuator itself, but also the actuator plus the valve in combination. So the idea was to take the best out of the valve and make the actuator so it fits to that valve. With that, we have now a self-adjusting actuator over its lifetime. We know that a uh, butterfly valve is consuming quite a lot of torque when it goes into the ceiling, so when it is closing. In that time, the, the actuator consumes more energy, and as soon as the damper or the, the, the blade of the butterfly valve is in the intermediate position, there is almost no friction, so the actuator automatically reduces also the torque. Lower torque means again we are more energy efficient. With that, we have uh, a lot of energy which we are not using in compare to standard solutions which are today in the market. Also, smaller actuators for the same DN size with a result in tremendous power saving. This was about the letter E, energy efficiency, about actuators and valves with small devices which have a big impact.